Okay, guys, don't we want to move this? Yeah, yeah we yeah, want to move that. We have too. to shift it back. Yeah. Have to undo that. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, fire! <laughs> My name is Tad Truscott. I'm an assistant professor at Utah State University, and today we're at Bear Lake, Utah. After studying skipping behavior for over five years, we came here to experimentally validate the upper bounds of our mathematical model. We wanted to see if the trends we observed in the lab held for high-speed impact events in a realistic setting. Most of our data we take uh, is photographic, so we have lots of different cameras that we use to gather data. So we have one looking at the initial impact event, so we can look at the angle and speed that the ball is coming down. Uh, we also have another one further down range to kind of see how the, the skipping dies out. Uh, but we also have uh, other cameras in the water that humans are using and they're panning with the ball so we can try and count how many skips, maybe get some sort of idea of distance. Yes, yeah, so these are the spheres we're testing on. They're deformable elastic balls. They're made out of silicon rubber and uh, we can embed them with electronics and things like that um, so we can measure acceleration as this is skipping. And then uh, it also allows us to draw some of the, these patterns on and these help us to kind of measure rotation and deformation. Well, it almost hit me, so... <laughs> <laughs> I thought my life passed before my... <laughs> We're validating our water skipping model by comparing calculated acceleration with measured acceleration. The model accurately estimates the number of skips. But then we observed an unexpected behavior. The ball appears to roll on the top of the water. The onboard accelerometer shows skipping events. Water walking couples rotation with skipping and is confirmed in the laboratory. Large angular velocity turns the sphere into a disc. Great.